Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Brianna and I'm a third grade teacher in North Carolina. And I am just filming on my iPhone right now for the intro. I just wanted to jump on here because I cut up some videos. This is me organizing my library. So I will not speak anymore if you want to watch me and my organization system, which is a little bit of chaos, then keep on watching. Hey y'all, I am about to start tackling my library. Originally I was planning on figuring out a new like labeling system because I did start putting my books with their spines facing out on the shelves last year and just like a couple different ones in bins, but I don't think I will have the time for that. I'm going to put them back on the shelves. Like my goal is to just keep obviously my series together, which I have a lot of series, so that makes it a lot easier. And hopefully I can figure out something from there. I have a ton of books. And I did get a lot of new ones last year, like Wings of Fire and stuff like that. So I'm kind of going to sort them near the shelves. Hopefully I like pretty much remember how I organized it last year. And I think that will be helpful. I know my rug is still bumpy over there. We're just, we're going to ignore that. And I do also have my sprinkle bins in here now, so I can kind of place them in random places throughout. I only have four. I just wanted to add some pizzazz. Maybe I'll just put them on this side so you can see them when you're looking into the classroom. And I'm going to dust these shelves and get started. That way that's another thing tackled. I did just wipe down the desks with Clorox wipes so it smells so fresh and clean in here. And I'm liking the way it is looking. I did shift these desks down a little bit and I pulled the drawers out of the middle. I liked them on the end and I like how it's kind of alternating. And hopefully I'll be able to remove some desks after the first few days of school when I see who is actually on my roster, but that gives a ton of space back there as well, which is super helpful. Okay, so I know this looks like a mess to you, but they are sorted. Now I'm going to decide what I want in bins and what I want on the shelves. Luckily, over the years, I have used Michelle Ferrays or Pocketful of Primary. I always forget to use her new last name, but her library labels. So most of my books have stickers on them, not the new ones though. And the ones that are in series, like it's very easy, like the Wings of Fire, obviously they all go together. So I kind of have like graphic novels and like comedy books over here. I have these leveled readers that are fiction and nonfiction. I have some mystery A to Z, Cam Jansen, Geronimo Stilton. Um, and then a bunch of random mystery books, uh, Bailey School Kids, and then I have like historical fiction, biographies, I Survived, I have the Who, What, Where books, I have fantasy back there, fiction animal stories, American Girl Doll, a ton of Amber Brown, Wings of Fire, both graphic novel and the regular novels. These are all just like fiction books, random. I do try to keep like the same author, like Judy Bloom. I have the Judy Moody ones together. I used to have like a category for sports books. Honestly, the kids don't really reach for those. So those are just my random fiction books. Boxcar Children with the mysteries. I have like classics and things that have been turned into movies kind of in this section. I have all my Roald Dahl, different cultures. Some people commented last year that I should weave my culture books in, but they're literally like, I like having them separate because it's exposing my kids to li life that they are not familiar with. I literally have such a wide range in here that I, I just like keeping it separate because we could still celebrate different cultures. It doesn't mean that one of my students isn't that particular culture from that place has the same traditions and mannerisms and whatnot, but it shows kids that we are all different and these are all different 
people and places that they may experience in their lives and it's cool. So I feel like that's cool to keep it together because if you want to learn about that, then there you go. That's my argument on that. All of my larger books, picture books are just over here right now. I'm going to handle those last, but mostly they're grouped together and they go in my really big buckets. So I felt like I needed to get these up first. Okay, this is how it's going. I still, like, I'm obsessed with the look of a few bins and then the spines. Like, I think it just looks so cool. It's so, it builds like, it just adds so much character. Are the different bins driving me a little bit wild? Maybe, but I still think it's fun. It's been hard for me to like group things. I have an extra shelf this year, but I still have all my picture books and, and nonfiction and stuff. So I still have to play around with this. I should have more than enough room. I just got a lot of books by the end of the year. So like, well, Wings of Fire doesn't really have its own shelf. It's with all the rest of the fantasy and the Dragon Masters. And I love how that's all together. I'm just loving the way this is looking. I try to kind of like space out the bins so the same one is not near each other. I wanted most of the sprinkle bins over here, like I said, so you can see it when you walk into the classroom. And then I put my who, what, where was, and my I survived all in that bin. So I like put books in those bins that I knew kids would look through. Since they are taller, I didn't want to put something that I knew they wouldn't choose. So like they'll definitely go for I survived and what was, who was, whatever. They'll definitely go for bad guys. They'll definitely go for wings of fire, maybe later in the year. And then my babysitter's club I put in there. I guess I should tackle this. Okay, definitely have to vacuum again, but all of the books are on the shelves and they're super spread out, which is great because there's so much room to grow. I really actually love that I have my bench here because it blocks where these bottom buckets stick out. So they don't fit perfectly on this shelf, but also they match all the way across, which is cool. But I love when I look into my classroom, the bench kind of blocks it, you know? So here's what we got going on. I tried to keep like nonfiction, biographies, historical fiction over here, and then fiction, fantasy, science fiction, horror, adventure, all the graphic novels over here. And I love it. I know I have some labels and some not. I, ugh, I don't know if I want labels. Maybe on the regular bins, but not on the sprinkle bins. The sprinkle bins are pretty obvious anyway because it's not like all of those books are going to be gone at once. You know, but like I said, I definitely have room to grow, which is really cool. I could even kind of spread out this shelf. So this area is kind of like historical fiction. So I could take these American Girl doll books and put them with this stuff, or I could take the historical fiction, which I think I'm going to do. And then I can have this here. I mean, I don't even need to move that over, but that way there's stuff in that spot in that space but like i said the shelves don't need to be full i can even pull some of my characters down and place them in the blank spaces i pulled out all this stuff i got these from dollar tree they're picture stands and i may use them to stand some books along the top i used to have clown noses in this in my circus classroom and i think i'm going to get some plush donuts from Amazon and put them in there just to have like on display and then these are all my Kohl's cares besides Nemo and besides the sloth They're all my Kohl's cares little stuffed animals and I have some of the matching books here So I might put those on display with it, but then I'm thinking about it and Yes, those are classic books but third grade eh there's different things I'd rather be putting out here. So I may just put those back into my picture books. Yeah, I'm loving it. All right, so that is my library. It is set up. Today was actually the second day of school and my kids got to choose their first book. And I wish it was a bit 
more labeled like it used to be, but it works, it's fine. We will continue to work on it as the year goes on. But I am exhausted, so thank you guys so much for joining me. Please make sure you're subscribed. Please make sure you're following me on Instagram. Give this video a thumbs up so it reaches as many teachers as possible. And turn on your notifications so you are notified every time I post a new video. All right, I'll see y'all next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.